Hi everyone, welcome back. I wanted to film this video for you and I've actually had this planned all week. Um, today's Sunday and um, last Monday was 10 weeks until Monday the 21st of December, which is Christmas week. I've got a couple of things planned for these 10 weeks. One is to get myself into shape a little bit and certainly get myself in shape enough so that I can let myself go over Christmas week, which I like to do, um, but nobody likes the after effects. Um, but the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to use up 10 products. Um, I really, really enjoyed my uh, Finish 10 by Fall uh, that I did with Chucky Kaz. Um, I'll link the videos in the description bar if you haven't. I'll link uh, Kaz's channel and my videos. I had the original video, the update and the finale video. I really enjoyed that. But um, just before I did the finale, I was quite inspired watching Leah XL's channel so I'll link her channel in the description bar for you as well so um, I've noticed that there's sort of a similar theme and a lot of youtubers do a very similar thing so I suppose what I've done could be called several things it could be called shop my stash it could be called um, project pan it could be called finish 10 by whatever it is finishing 10 products by the 21st of December and I'll consider that Christmas so the 10 weeks and um, I put them all into this little glossy box and um, I've picked 10 so I have shopped my stash when picking this 10 um, and these are 10 products that I just feel um, that I want to be encouraged to use everybody does their um, videos a little bit differently let me just bring you down a bit so you can see this better everybody does their videos a little bit differently um, but for mine um, whatever isn't used up is going to get thrown away um, so it's at the end it will be sort of like an empties as well which if you watch my channel you know is one of my favourite videos to do so these are the 10 products I've picked um, so this, a lot of them I've already hit pan on so it's you know when you hit pan on something I don't know you then I don't know if, if you're anything like me when you hit pan you've achieved that and maybe you're inclined to use it less whereas I actually want to then use them up so that I can return, replace them the first two products I'm going to show you are high-end products. I've had them for a very long time, um, but the formula on these and the finish and the way they perform is actually not different now to it was when I first purchased, purchased them, I don't think. So on one hand, that's a plus, you know, well done, they're both by benefit. And on the other hand, I'm not that overly excited about how these products performed even excluding the price out of the equation altogether I wouldn't repurchase them um, and so I do want them used up but because they're high end I just can't bring myself to throw them away um, the, I love the packaging but it, um, mine don't actually sort of have any sort of a closure so they just sort of flop open so they're not very good for travelling and they both do that it's lemonade and this is their concealer now the, the sticker on the back has rubbed off um, so I can't 100% remember what it's called I think it's maximum coverage concealer or something like that um, but it's their concealer that comes in this format in a pan they still do it but like I say the packaging just looks a little bit differently now and this is how far along I am get the right angle so you can see on the lemonade so I've hit pan in the center there but it's still quite a lot no matter what eyeshadow I use on this no matter what I use to set it and no matter how much I attempt in vain to set this it creases um, I do have hooded, hooded eyes admittedly um, but for the price I'm just surprised because I have oh, dropped it I have a lot of lower end products that don't do that I'll pick that up later so there's the lemonade and there's also the concealer I got mine in just the fairest shade there's not a huge amount of that left um, I've got my brushes ready here of what I'm gonna use um, to use the products up and ah here it is that one and I'm gonna use my um, Real Techniques domed shadow brush for the under eye concealer and uh, deluxe crease brush for the lemonade so if I if I haven't explained it properly already I'll just let you know so the lemonade is yellow based and it's supposed to cancel out redness and be an eyeshadow base and the concealer is um, supposed to be for under the eyes um, and I haven't attempted to use it anywhere else so that's where I've used it and that's where I'll continue to use it so there's those two 
Um, next in my box we have a blush. Now, even on my very fair skin, I've got to say this blush is very soft. So the name suits it well. It's the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in Soft Pink. I didn't purchase this. It came in a gift set um, that a friend bought me. Um, my, one of my best friends actually. I've got two best friends. One of them's Steph. One of them's Laura. And Steph bought me this. So it's number 14 soft pink. They don't have 14 shades of this. I don't know why it's number 14. I think there's one or maybe two uh, shades of this uh, cream blush by Max Factor. I've accidentally recently broken the packaging there um, and just because of its age um, and I've got concealer palette, uh, concealer, I've got blusher palettes including cream blusher palettes now that I like. I just, I'm not into singles anymore uh, of anything really. Um, so I do want that uh, gone before it goes bad so I'm going to use that but I will be topping it I think with another blush because I've, I've got it on my cheeks today I've got the concealer and the lemonade on as well today but I've got this on my cheeks today and it was even on my fair skin it was so um, soft um, I didn't feel that way as much when I was blonde if that makes a difference to anybody but now I'm a redhead I, I suppose I do wear a little bit more colour and so I topped it with another blush um, which also helps its longevity um, the next two products are from Natural Collection and it's two eyeshadows. They're both of very, very similar colours. Um, let me just see if I can see a, a diff difference in them. One's called Seashell and one's called Butterscotch. You won't, on camera obviously you won't be able to see a difference and you'll see how much, not a lot left of that. Um, they're both almost identical. I would say that Butterscotch has a slightly more pinky undertone and Seashell has a slightly more yellow undertone, eye green undertone, but uh, they're basically the same thing. Um, I like to use this um, as a very subtle under eyebrow highlight and on the lid. It's not really strong enough for me to have a pop in the inner corner and really I would just wear these to work, so that's what I'll be doing with those two. And um, the next product I'm going to attempt to get through is my e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. So for work I intend, I don't, mirrors fell out, don't need to do that anymore. For work I intend to use this colour here in the crease. I've got that on today and I've got one of these two on today with it. And I'm going to use this colour in the crease and the lash line. It's really handy having four separate colours um, because of the fact that you can use these for eyeshadows. Um, but at the same, and I have tried to use them evenly, but I've hit pan in a very uneven way. Having said that though, the white shade is very, very chalky and bumpy. And um, I have enjoyed it, and I've probably mentioned it in a favourites before. It's quite, quite nice, but um, I'm not sure I'd repurchase it. Now that I've sort of branched out and tried a lot more of the bronzers, I'm not sure that, you know, I'm the biggest fan of it. Especially now Elf in the UK have hiked their prices off immensely so I will be trying to get through that because my mirrors fell out and it's one of the first bronzers I bought so um, I do want that one used up. Um, the next product I've got is my Elf Eyelid Primer in Sheer. Now I've got to admit this is a bit of a cheat because there's not a huge amount left of this but I have another one so I really want to finish this and have it used up so that um, I can move on to the, the next one, which I won't be opening until I've got through all of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice product. Um, I probably would repurchase that. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way, like for example, just pay the postage and packaging on one item on the ELF website just to get that one item. Um, but I, I think it's worth the money when it was £3. I don't know what it's going to cost now. God, I uh, dread to think. Um, next, I'm going to use up hopefully my Avon Violet uh, Wet Dry Eyeliner. So um, it looks like this, I'll just do a swatch for you. So that's what it looks like dry. It's called Wet Dry Eyeliner but I find it does perform a lot nicer when it is wet. Um, I can't wear this in my waterline because my eyes just stream and burn horrendously but it is nice round the eye um, I'll probably attempt in using it up to use it as some sort of eyeshadow base and use it round the outer V area and see what looks I can create with that using it in that way um, next I've got a lip product this is an Avon Sheer Rose 
I don't know if they even make this anymore it's quite old um, but I've got it on today and I really really love it so I've, not, I've only got that as much as it'll twist up um, it looks like it goes a little bit further down so I'll have to use a lip brush to get the very last bits out but there's not a lot left of that and uh, it'll be great for work and um, it's a great everyday autumn shade so I think it'll be quite easy to use up um, but yeah I'm looking forward to having that one gone even though I've enjoyed it um, like I say I just want to I'll feel better you know no, feeling like I'm working on it so that it's going to be gone before it's gone bad um, the last product is a nail varnish. Now it's quite worn because it has been well loved. Um, it's the colour Raspberry by Barry M, one of their nail paints. I've actually got it on my nails again today because like I said, it, technically I started this on Monday so by the time this video uploads it's probably going to be, I've been already doing it for a couple of weeks. Um, so that's the colour there. And there is a fair amount left um, but I need to use that up, you know, because barium polishes are really, really good at not going goopy. A lot of polishes you get through half the bottle and the rest of it's unusable. unusable. Barium polishes are not like that. You can almost use them completely dry um, without even adding a, a thinner to them. So I really, really recommend them if you can get them. I'm not sure if you, how easy it is to get outside of the UK but um, here um, they're really easy to get because they're in the drugstores. So that is my 10 products um, and I'm going to keep do probably one update and then the finale you know at Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to join me please do leave any videos in the description uh, comments bar that you make or if you just want to join me and not make a video again just keep me updated let me know what you what you plan to use and how you get on using it and um, I will see you in the next one guys take care bye